The Transom of Life. Heaven Letter Number 5826. November 6, 2016. An image appears to me of my children climbing through the transom of life. Another way to say this is that it may be that you enter life less directly than is necessary. You may object to clear sailing. You may choose hard going or a roundabout way. You may ruin life obtusely. You row furiously, we could say. You may have put on the apron of one who pounds an anvil, when all you need is to smile and gather life to you, as some day, you might gather your beloved grandchildren around you. Has life been irksome and difficult for you? I ask you squarely, must your life be like this? Must you be a penitent? Must you dig deep ditches? Could you not favor your true self more? You could declare today a holiday. You could choose to lead a favored life. You could choose peace. You could choose more than you have been choosing. What if you could forswear difficulties in life? What if you could be a bird and wake up singing every morning? What if the song you sing speaks of the arrival of dawn? What if you would sing to your heart's content? What if you declare the day you will engage in with joy in your heart? What entanglement were you perhaps in this morning? What did you record on your bandstand? Can you not conduct the music you want? Who does choose the music that becomes your life? Be friendly to life. If life has been arduous for you, sing a different song. Get yourself into a different groove. Begin to see your life differently, and you set yourself up for joy. If you have had enough grief to last you a lifetime, let go of grief. Put it behind you. Begin your life anew. Why hang on to old news? It may not be the world that is strenuous. It could be you who looks for a strenuous world as if troublesome had to be the echo of your life. I say that you can create a new life, and you can create in the moment you change your intention. What says that you must deal with ongoing ravages in your life? What if you decided on the life of joy instead of hurt? I suggest that you let go of your concept of life as suffering. This is your choice like any choice. Who chooses what you are going to have for breakfast? Set your life up according to a good outcome. You can take a good look at your life and see it quite differently. Make the most of your life. Swing your arms with life. I can picture you doing somersaults. I can envision you're doing jolly jump ups. I can see you turning your life right side up. I can see you're changing the universe and making the universe easy of access. Why not? What exactly do you believe gets in your way? It must be you who gets in your way. If there are boxes of trash in your doorway, toss out the boxes. Clear your path. I intend that life be as great as you want, yet it is you who must take the helm. What do you spend your time on thinking about? Offer yourself some resolution. Resolve a new life. A new life is only a hop, skip, and jump away. Change the images that go around in your brain. Change your images, and you are changed. Put in a new movie reel. Turn in a different direction. Let go of what has been and create a new picture. Right now, in this vast universe, is the express time for new. Let old ways of thinking burst open. No longer let old ways of thinking distract you from the life you like to call your own. Call it to you, the life you want. Call it. If you have been denied the life you want, you have been denying yourself. You. Open the windows of your eyes. Open the windows of your heart. Open the windows of your soul. Take yourself by the hand and go forward. Hop to it. There, that's it. Just go forward, one step after another. This is easy for you to do, so do it. Let life be easy. There is no need for life to be hard. Come with me. There is nothing to it. Keep your eye on what you want. That's it. This is how you do it. Allow me. Channeled by Gloria Wendroff. HeavenLetters.org